What began as a whimsical joke between friends ended as the journey of a lifetime. In 2015, I was in Boston visiting my musician friend, Triv. While at a festival commemorating the golden anniversary of our spiritual teachers coming from India to America, we heard in a number of speeches how Swami Prabhupada circled the globe and spread Krishna consciousness to six continents. I elbowed Triv and whispered, what about Antarctica? Another speaker encouraged us all to do something special in 2016 to honor the 50th anniversary of the founding of the Hare Krishna movement in the West. Triv and I smiled at each other. Shouldn't someone bring Srila Prabhupada and the Hare Krishna mantra to the seventh continent, the last frontier? Why don't we do it? When I flew back to Florida and told my wife about what Triv and I had been talking about, she too thought I was, it was just a joke and never expected to hear about it again. But I couldn't get the idea out of my mind. Could we really go to Antarctica? After a few enlightening Google searches, I called Triv and we decided to go for it. By the middle of October, our Krishna South mission got real when I booked a cabin on a ship for a November 2016 voyage to Antarctica. After a year of planning, purchasing, and preparing, I was sitting in the Gainesville, Florida airport with serious doubts about Triv actually making it. If you knew him, you'd understand why. What would I do if he didn't show up in Miami? Then just before boarding my flight, he texted me. I'm on the way on a plane to New York. We rendezvoused at the Miami airport and took an overnight flight to Buenos Aires. Another flight landed us at our final terrestrial destination, Tierra del Fuego and the southernmost city on earth, Ushuaia, end of the world, beginning of everything. After 32 hours of traveling 7,000 miles on four flights, we took a two-day breather in the land of fire. Aboard our expedition ship, MV Ushuaia, we left port on a Sunday evening and sailed through the calm waters of the Beagle Channel. We awoke to a different, more dynamic atmosphere Monday morning, one of constant back and forth motions as the ship heaved and pitched in the waves of the notorious Drake Passage. Two days and 600 rolling miles later, we arrived at Orne Harbor, just off the coast of the Antarctic Peninsula. After making special arrangements with awesome Augustine, our expedition leader, Triv and I set foot in Antarctica on November 16, 2016. Setting up an altar near a penguin colony on the glacial ice and snow, we performed a ceremony to Srila Prabhupada and sang the first Hare Krishna Kirtan on the seventh continent. That part of our mission accomplished, Triv and I enjoyed the rest of our adventure conducting further spiritual activities and taking in the otherworldly atmosphere of Antarctica, feeling that our lives would never be the same. As one mission or life experience leads to the next, this one sparked an Antarctic obsession in me, compelling me to plan a full-length documentary about the unfolding American history in Antarctica, a story that begs to be told.